Hey you guys, and welcome to my first vlog of 2019. So I'm not really doing anything of importance today. I just haven't even touched my camera since the day after Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to re-familiarize myself with vlogging, and I'm probably gonna ramble, and this is probably gonna be a pointless vlog, but at least you guys know beforehand. I can't even believe that it's 2019. I honestly can't believe that it's February 1st. Uh, last month <laughs> seemed to take forever, but it also felt like it was really, really fast. It was, last month was really hard. I'm not really gonna get into it, but a lot of things happened. Can I like back up at all? Sorry you guys, there was a semi that was turning the corner, but it was turning the corner, it was a sharp corner, and so he was, I don't know, maybe you guys could see it, maybe you guys couldn't. I don't, why is that guy staring at me? I just want Starbucks, you guys. It's probably been a week and a half since I've honestly left the house, because um, I wanna go that way. I'll just wait. It's okay. It's all right. I've completely forgotten how to drive. You're fine. Everybody's okay. I swear, I turned my camera on and I forgot how to be a person. I don't know how to function. I don't know how to film. I don't know how to drive. I don't know how to speak. I haven't touched my camera for any reason at all um, since the day after Christmas. I just haven't felt inspired. I haven't felt like recording anything. 2018 was such a crappy year that when it ended, like I really felt like I needed to detoxify myself. I needed to just completely get away from it all. I was tired. I was tired emotionally and physically, mentally, and I don't know. I've been kind of taking this last month off just to kind of fix what I felt like needed to be fixed in my mind and kind of reestablish what my goals were, what I wanted to do with things, where I wanted to go in life. I'm getting a coffee because it's what I'm doing. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Um, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> no problem. Take your time. I always get a vanilla bean coconut milk latte do you guys do you have like a different suggestion to kind of break up my norm you said no real milk yeah so like almond milk would be okay yeah that's totally fine we have a cinnamon almond milk macchiato okay could probably try. i can do the cinnamon one okay anything else uh nope that's it and what size was that a grande please all right five thirty all right thank you you're welcome we're gonna see what this tastes like so whole school here at Starbucks. My school did not take me to Starbucks when I was a teenager. That would have been nice. It smells amazing. It smells like a cinnamon. It smells like a cookie. Like maybe like a um words cannot come to my brain. Like a snickerdoodle? It smells like a snickerdoodle. You can cross in front of me. It's okay. Don't hide behind a pillar. I don't know what's happening. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I was waiting for you, but then you decided to play peekaboo. Oh, that's super good. Oh, that's really good. I was afraid it was gonna taste like, uh, like cinnamon gum or something, because I'm kind of weird about the cinnamon flavor. But it honestly tastes really good. in my car again today, which I know is a shocking surprise. Um, I didn't vlog anymore yesterday after I went and got my coffee. However, we ended up doing quite a bit of stuff and I sort of wish I did vlog it because it was really cool. Anthony and I ended up going to, they had First Fridays downtown, um, which First Fridays in Kokomo is basically like all these small local businesses 
in the downtown area end up doing this, it's kind of like a festival in the summertime. They have music and they have dancers and they have um, a whole bunch of like fair food, uh, like trucks and stuff like that. But in the wintertime, it's a little bit different because obviously it's really cold in Indiana. So every first Friday of every month, these small businesses, uh, like join in and sometimes they have like specials and then they usually have a theme. Last night's theme was chili cook-off. So you go to all these different locations in the downtown area and then you get to try the different chilies. So there were only two chilies that I could try. We only made it to the um, Blue Hemp Shop which sells like CBD oils and smokables and things like that. Um, but we went there because they had a vegan chili and it was divine. And then after that, actually before that, we ended up going to the YMCA and we joined a gym, which is what I'm going to be doing today here in a little bit. Uh, we're going to go to the gym. We're going to take the kids. They want to go swimming, but really I want to get on like an elliptical. My camera is getting lopsided. I don't know what it's doing, but it will not stay straight up and down. So I apologize. Let me see if I have my wallet. Better if I'm going to get Starbucks. Yes, I'm getting Starbucks again. Um, ain't no shame in my coffee game. I'm gonna go to Target in just a second, and then I'm gonna go home, and then we're gonna get the kids, and then we're gonna go to the gym. I'm super excited to get back to the gym, and I feel like I'm in the healthiest point of my life. Um, eating is becoming more intuitive, and sleeping is becoming a heck of a lot easier. I've got myself on more of a rhythm, and while I'm not necessarily falling asleep earlier and getting up earlier, I am sleeping more soundly. So I am getting better quality of sleep. Uh, but I feel like I can get, I'm actually to the point that I can start exercising and not make it like a big deal and I'm not going to have to worry about relapse and all that jazz. But that's, I guess, all I have going on right now. Um, I'm just going to get coffee and then I'm going to go to Target. Uh, yeah, so I will see you guys later. I just left Target and I am super excited. I'm pretty sure it's because they're probably, I know, I'm not strapped in. Shh, be quiet. I think it's probably because, excuse me, they're either getting like their spring stuff in or maybe they're repackaging. I don't know, but they have like almost all of their makeup on clearance and their hair products. I don't know, so much stuff was on clearance, but I hit the jackpot, seriously. First of all, I got these Ardell Wispies. Fo uh, no, these are not the foam ink ones. I had the foam ink ones in my hand. These are the studio effects ones. Okay, these were originally $5.49. I got them for $1.69. So that was exciting. And then I got a mask. This is Foaming Volcanic Ash Clay Sheet Mask. I didn't read that it was a clay sheet mask. I hate sheet masks. I have a really small face, but like really large features and they never fit me. Um, yeah, I don't know, but it was $1.74, originally $2.49, or $2.49, so I was like, why not? Um, but then, oh, this was really cool. So for $9, I got it for $2.70, but it was $9. I got the Quick Clean Dry Brush Spray by Sonia Kushik, but they had a larger bottle. Um, I hate washing my brushes, and I have a spray that I use through Unique, and absolutely love it, but I'm almost out, and I think it's like $15, but $2.70 below. Um... But then I got all of these lipsticks. I'm super excited. Okay, this one I'm really excited about. Let me show you what I have in my purse. This is, oh, it was like a, uh, you really can't see, but it's a holographic lip gloss and I absolutely love it, but I cannot buy it anymore. But they have this by, um, why can't I not even think of the company? Pacifica. And I think it's going to be, I mean, it's a little bit different. It looks like they are more blue and they have more chunks in them. But it's another lip gloss. And it was originally $9.99, marked down to $2.98. Ah, it's so pretty. Oh, it's stickier than my unique one. Definitely has like more glitter chunks. I love that. They had a whole bunch of different colors, but I really like the holographic cool toned one with the blue glitter. But then they had, okay, so this was Katy Perry's, it's cantaloupe. It 
Ooh, ew, that's so disgusting. Like it like chunked up there. But I think it's just a lip gloss. Oh, it's pretty. Of course, I'm not in the sun, so you guys probably can't see the shimmer. Let me bring you guys over here. Can you guys see the shimmer there? Mm, not really. Okay, well, it's there, I promise. They had all of their NYX lingerie. Let me open these. Ah! This is their slip tees. Slip tees? Is that what it was called? This is the color Entice. And I guess it's a lip oil. Ooh, it's pretty. <gasps> Ooh, that's really pretty. I've been looking for new uh, nude shades. I really like that. Um, it went on really nice, too. Then this is the NYX lingerie in the shade Bustier. Okay, so it looks like the same, but this is a liquid. Oh, okay, it's a little bit different. Okay, but it's a nude as well. This is a liquid lipstick, and then that's a lip oil. And then I got, this is the Slip Tees um, lip oil in low key. This looked like a completely different color. Oh, wow. Ooh, I like that. It's kind of like a terracotta. I don't know. Okay, I am... In love. This one was originally $6.99. It says it was marked down to $3.48. I don't think that's right. I think I paid $2.08 for it as well. Let me see. Yeah, I paid $2.08 for that as well. So my whole total was $16.38. Uh, actually, no, with tax, it was $16.66. So that's unnerving. I just went in to get lashes and ended up getting one two, three, four, five lip products, a brush cleaner, and a face mask. So I'm going to have some explaining to do when I get home. It was my money anyhow. Um, he's not going to care, but I always feel bad for spending money on myself for no reason. Now let's hope I can get this off and not get it all over me or my car. I wonder if I spray the brush cleaner. Are you kidding me? How do you function? How do you do this? Oh, okay, there we go. Will you come off? Ooh, that smells like, okay, at first it smelled like a funeral. Like, you know, when it's like really floral. And now it smells like baby lotion, baby oil. I don't know, but it got most of it off. So, all right, now I'm gonna head home, get my family and go to the gym. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go do. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Will somebody take my gym bag? Um, Hello. Hello. Did you hear my car? Yeah. It was groaning. Merp. 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 Ah, they're all back there, but my camera is only focused on me. We're finally going to the gym. We got the gym membership on Friday. Well, we had the gym membership last month, but nobody went last month. I, I think did. Anthony went once. Twice. Twice. <laughs> I'm asking to. But... I have PC. I didn't start my New Year's resolutions until February 1st, so that's my excuse. <laughs> new month, new me. Forget new year, new me. Where are sirens? They're coming from behind us. Okay. They're coming for us. Um, I hope an ambulance isn't coming for us. We must have somebody in it because they're not going super fast. You sure? I just, I always feel like I need to pray when I hear an ambulance or a fire uh, truck or a police car. Um, there's another ambulance. What is happening? Well, that's that other one that me and Gavin said was leaving. But where are they going? I know, I know. Male passed out in vehicle at Lincoln and La Fountain. So that's over here. You're going the wrong way. Yo! You missed your turn! Are we there yet? No, no. we're not there yet. Does it look like we're at the Y? Yeah. Then get out and find a <laughs> Is it get out and go swim? There's a puddle right there. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. I'm so glad I ate chocolate chip waffles before going to work out. I know. It's kind Slathered of in like butter. A... Vegan butter. What is that All right, mean? we're at the Y. It is my first time working out in like two, two and a half years, three years. I don't know. I really haven't worked out since um, anorexia recovery, and I'm hoping 
to tone up, not really lose weight, but I've got my Just Wrong hoodie on and yeah, I'm ready to go kick some booty. And I even have water, which I never drink water ever. So I'm gonna put flavor in it because water gives me a migraine and makes me wanna puke. You didn't. You guys swam. Oh. Yeah, Swimming a though is a workout. So we're gonna come back tomorrow. There's Jeff. Jeffrey, is that really Jeff? Yeah, because Shane ah! Rock's hanging out the window. Because yeah. <laughs> I saw Shamrock hanging out the back window. That's so, so funny. He's probably Jeff. like, who is that? Who are those people? No, he's back. He, well, he'll well, wave probably regardless. Took, it probably took him a minute, though, to figure out it was us. Because he cannot identify my car. I could literally run him over and back over him and, like, get out and help him to his feet. And he would still be like, is that a truck? I'm sorry, SUV. Suv. He doesn't think it's a truck. It's a truck. Anyway. So we're going to come back tomorrow. I'm coming back tomorrow to exercise before the kids get out of school. And then when the kids come to school or get out of school, they're gonna go and swim. Can I get goggles? I don't know about this week. We'll, yeah. we'll get some soon. A lot of places don't have that stuff out yet. It's not summertime. Although if you go to Target, like their whole front thing is all bathing suits already. All right, well, I think we're gonna go eat lunch even though it's 342. I don't know what we're doing. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. Well, I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to thumbs up this video and please subscribe. I've been getting a lot more subscribers lately. I not only surpassed 100, but I'm getting close to 150. So I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. So bye.